Balance scorecard is not just a performance appraisal system. It is a system that helps an organization translate its vision into reality. It is a strategic system. It talks about helping the organization set its strategic objectives, capture them in a strategic map, ensure it adheres to some sort of a strategic theme. But eventually, all of that boils down to an individual's performance. And that is the beauty of balanced scorecard. It is similar to MBO because it talks about organizational goals and then connects them to an individual's goals. How does it do that? And how is it different from MBO? Well, there are many differences, but one key difference is that while in MBO, you can set an organizational goal on any area, in balanced scorecard, there are four perspectives you must keep in mind. And your goals must be created within these four perspectives. That's why it's called balanced scorecard because organizations often chase the financial objective to the exclusion of other objectives and that leads to a lack of balance. So in balanced scorecard, we pay attention not just to the financial perspective, but also other perspectives. What are these other perspectives? There are four perspectives. The first perspective is obviously the financial perspective where we worry about the money, where we set objectives or goals for the kind of money we want to make, profit after tax, for example. The second perspective is the customer's perspective, right? How are we adding value to the customer? What are our goals in this area so that we can add maximum value to the customer and ensure the customer is delighted? The third perspective is internal processes. What kind of goals we need to set in the area of internal processes so that our organization is able to achieve our other objectives. And the fourth perspective is learning and growth. What kind of learning do we need? What are our goals in the area of learning and growth? Sometimes it's also called organizational capacity. Now, what this means is that the company's goals are set along these four perspectives. There are financial goals, there are customer goals, there are internal process goals, and there are learning and growth goals. When these organizational goals are broken down and they, they cascade down the levels of the organization to the baseline employees, then employees often also have goals of these different perspectives. So an HR person, for example, might have goals that are related to financial performance of the company or whatever his or her contribution is in that area, customer centric goals, internal process centric goals and learning and growth goals. So when performance appraisal is done on the basis of an individual's scorecard, very often the parameters around which performance appraisal is done belong to these four perspectives. Financial perspective, customer centric perspective, internal process perspective and learning and growth perspective. Now, the beauty of this method, and as I mentioned earlier, is that these four perspectives, whatever your goals are, and very often these goals are, again, there are KPIs involved. You take into consideration key performance indicators, those numbers that you will track. What number will you track for an HR person or for a salesperson or for an administration person? to ensure that they are contributing to the financial perspective, customer perspective, internal process perspective, and learning and growth perspective. So you take these numbers into account and that determines the performance of the employee. So it's really unique in that sense because the organizational goals are reflected in an individual's scorecard. This method is known as balanced scorecard.